Hey everyone, I'm Allie and I'll be your instructor today for a 10 minute inner thigh and glute focus workout on the micro. And this is Lisa, she'll be my model today. And yeah, just a quick little workout you can do, fire up the inner thighs and the glutes. Let's get started. So we're gonna start in a, oh, go ahead and start the video. Thank you. And we're starting with standing in her thighs for the right side. So Lisa's right foot is on the front platform and left foot is on the carriage. Go ahead and get a slight bend in your knees. Yeah, perfect. So you want that slight bend in your knees as you're doing this. And then keeping the glutes squeezed, keeping the tailbone neutral, only go as far out as you can keep that neutral spine here. And then think of using both inner thighs to close the carriage in, but we're not touching the carriage to the platform. Good, perfect. And as you can see, her posture is really good. Shoulders are down, neck is long. And in about 10 seconds, we're gonna turn this into squats. So you're gonna get your legs into a comfortable stance to where you can squat it out right here in three, two, and one. Good, so keep it nice and slow, Lisa, because you wanna keep that carriage still, good. And this stabilization here of the carriage is what's really gonna fire up your inner thighs because you don't want the carriage to move out and then you also don't want it to move in. So stabilizing that right here is going to really work the inner thighs. Good job, Lisa. Perfect. Good, and we are going to take this into runner's lunge next. Yes, runner's lunge, right side. So go ahead and add a red spring to your spring load and I will do that for you. So we'll close the carriage, add a red, I'll actually take the black off and cool. So you can put your toes actually right in this little cutout right here, or you can put it at the very front of the carriage. So there's different places you could place your, the ball of your foot and you want to make sure you're pressing through the entire ball of the foot rather than just your toes so that you have that support. I like to put mine in this little area in between the um, carriage and the ring of fire. But if you want, you can put it on the very front of the carriage. Or if you want a little bit less resistance, you can put your foot all the way back. And as you can see here, Lisa is super low in her right leg, golden angle. And even though she has her hands on the bars, she has that good posture. She's not dipping her weight into it. She has a light touch on those bars. So next we have pulses. So you're gonna bend your left leg to that 90 degree angle and you're just gonna pulse up and down right here. Yeah, good. Perfect, Lisa, yes. So you can have your hands on the handles like the avatar or you can be a baddie like Lisa, she let go. <laughs> And good, see she's keeping the carriage still and both knees are at a 90 degree angle. So 90 degree golden angle with the front leg and then her left knee is directly under the hip. Good, breathe, you're almost there. Remember you could have that light touch on the handlebars if you need. And as you're pulsing here, you're driving through your heel to lift it up. Good, you have less than 15 seconds, you're almost there. We're gonna go back to a lighter spring load. To one black spring. We have a floor lunge coming up next. In three, two, and one. Good, transitioning. And I will change your springs for you. So we have one black. And you're gonna have your right foot on the floor, left toes on the carriage, and get into that floor lunge. So I really like to do a heavy spring load pushing move first, and then go into the lighter pulling exercise. And the reason I like this is because you really burn out the glute with the heavy pushing exercise. And then when you get to the lighter exercise, you're already burned out. So you really have to work to keep that slow pace. 
Good, Lisa. Good. And she doesn't lock that right knee out. Good. You guys can see that right there. Nice, Scott. You have about 20 seconds left in this full range. And you guys can always use a pull if you need for this one. We have carriage kicks coming up in eight seconds. So take it down to your lowest lunge right here in five, four, three, two, and one. Good, lowest lunge. Now bend that left knee right under the hip. Good, Lisa, yes. So she's staying nice and low in that right leg. I want you to exhale as that knee comes in. Inhale as you take it out. And you guys see she extends it out all the way. Oops, sorry. And then when she bends, the knee stops right under the hip. Good. So I'm actually going to have you bend it a little less this next time. I'll tell you when to stop. Okay. Stop right there. Now extend it out. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Perfect. You have about 20 seconds left here, girl. And then we're going to the other side. So... Quick little combo on each side. Really burning out the glute and inner thighs really quick. No excuses. If you have 10 minutes, you could get a little micro workout in. All right, you have five, four, three, two, and one. Good, Lisa. Nice, okay, so now we have standing inner thighs, left side. So this time, your left foot will be on the platform and your right foot will be on the carriage. Good, yes, that slight bend in the knees and neutral tailbone. Perfect. Good, so right here, just regroup, get connected with your breath. Inhale as you open the carriage and exhale as you close using both inner thighs to bring the carriage in. And if you're more of a beginner, you can always have another black spring on. So with any of the lighter pulling leg exercises, you can always have two black springs or a black and a white. The more you have, the more support you'll have. And if you're more of a beginner, then that's a perfect way to modify while still doing the exercises that we're doing. We're gonna get into those squats, you guys, in five, four, three, two, and one. Good, so get yourself into a comfortable stance here and then squat it out. So we're using those stabilizers, really working the inner thighs, burning them out right here. And I don't have you here for a full minute, so just try to stay in it. Go really, really slow. Get super low. Good, Lisa. She looks great, you guys. You see how low she's getting? Perfect. Good. And you see the carriage here? It is staying still. Yes, it will shake a little bit because that's how the micro is, but you can see it is not moving a significant amount at all. Good, Lisa. You only have five, four, three, two, and one. Good. So we're going to get into runner's lunge now. Left side. I'll change the springs for you right here. So I'm giving her one red, you guys. Um, you should be doing at least one red for this one. If you're more advanced, you can add a black. And here we go, good. So, yes, her entire foot is planted into the platform and she is exhaling as she presses the carriage back and then inhale, you guys see how she stopped her knee right under the hip right here, good, and then she presses it out from there, yes. Good, Lisa. And she has that light touch on the handlebars as well. Very light touch. You see how she still has that nice long neck. Perfect. Good, Lisa. We're going to get into those pulses coming up in eight seconds. So it's 10 minutes. So it's a hard 10 minutes, but it'll really get you, get you going. Okay. Now we're in those pulses. So. Stop that right knee under the hip. Pulse it out right here. Yes. Good. She's shaking a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. Well, we just did a 40-minute workout before this, so she's a real trooper. Yes, good. Stay in it, you guys. So keep that golden angle with the left 
leg. And then you can grab onto the handlebars if you need. And it's almost better to grab the handles because then you're staying low in that leg, yeah? Good, you have less than 20, Lisa. You're almost there. After this, we're getting into floor lunge on the left. So you're just gonna step off the machine onto the left side and switch the springs to one black. In five, four, three, two, one. Good, let it go. And I will switch these springs to one black. Good, you could take a little breath before you start. Yeah, and here we go. <laughs> Good, so we're almost there. We just have this floor lunge and then carriage kicks. I feel like Legree is the absolute best workout to do when you have a limited amount of time. Because you could do things like this and it's like, I'm ready. I'm ready to take on the day. And I also feel like, for me at least, Legree feels like a shot of espresso when I'm done with it. It's like, I feel so energized rather than other workouts. I feel like, okay, I'm gonna go back to sleep now. So we love, we love working the slow twitch muscle fibers and that rush of oxygen goes back into our muscles and we just are ready to take on the day. Okay, we have eight seconds and then we're gonna get into carriage kicks, Lisa, and you at home. So hit your lowest lunge right here in five, four, three, two, and one. So stay low, yeah, stay right there, woo! Okay, good. And she's gonna kick it in and out, yep. This is it, you guys, 10 minutes. Just total burnout, the inner thighs and the butt. Floor lunge, I really feel in my glutes. Good, breathe. Exhale as that knee bends. Inhale as it comes out. And she looks really good with her left knee directly above her ankle. As you can see, oh, there's a fly. Shoo. Good, you're almost there. You have 15 seconds. You got it, breathe. You got it. Just don't come out of it early, you guys. You're almost there. You have 10 seconds. That is it. And then you're done with your 10 minute Work out in five, four, three, two, and one. Good, let it go. Nice. High five. <laughs> all right, that's Lisa, everybody. She's a badass. I'm Allie, and check out all the other videos on Legree On Demand.